and welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. You get the Dow Industrials up 39, NASDAQ up four, SPs are down a buck and a half. Gold contract flat at 1,159 an ounce. Silver down four cents at $15.58 an ounce. Platinum off eight bucks at 1,194 an ounce. Copper down four pennies at 298 a pound. Light sweet crude getting smacked around down $2.81 a barrel at 74.34. That's an ABC structure down to 70 bucks. Bonds, you have the 10 year up four ticks at 126.15. 30 year up four at 141.08. King dollar, King dollar down 131 ticks at 87.77. You have the euro up 46 at 124.84, and the yen is up 27 at 115. Excuse me, folks, 0.75. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is going to be a battle into the close. It's going to be a beautiful thing out here, folks. So this is what you have out here. High out here generated today, 2046. Low, 2030. Right now, you're at 2035. If we go to the SPY and we take a look at the SPY, what you have with the SPY? SPY's flat. Had a high out here today of 20483. Low of 20321. You've done 62 million shares. Uh, we'll see where this baby uh, can slice and dice coming into the close. I can tell you that you had all the indices in the green and in the green good by the way and then you had them all in the red uh this is going to be a battle of the bull and the bears coming into this uh close in a big way and what of course has happened each and every day is as the bulls have always won uh we'll see if that's the situation today what we've had thus far if we take a look at the cash the actually the future not the cash we take a look at the, the future. What you've had is that uh, the first high up here was generated at 0620 this morning. That high was uh, 2043. Uh, you tested that high at 1050 this morning. After that test, you come off the high with volume on the way down. We did 100% move of the low of yesterday of about 2026. You get a bounce going right now, and we'll see if they can uh, get this thing up and over the 2037 mark. Right now, you're at 2034. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, when we take a look inside the Dow, what's putting strength in the Dow versus weakness in the Dow. Excuse me. The uh, Walmart uh, is the juice inside the Dow in an extreme way today. Uh, Walmart's up $3.80. You have Boeing up $3. Cisco is up uh, 59 cents. Microsoft is up 80 taken away from it, okay, some heavy oil and gas stocks taken away from it in a big way. Caterpillar is the leader, that's down 192, that's of course industrial. Chevron down 158, Exxon Mobil off 53, you get Procter & Gamble off 71. The Procter & Gamble deal, folks, okay, uh, PG, uh, Warren Buffett uh, no doubt did it again. Uh, smart deal, uh, Warren Buffett is uh, buying, oh, well, Berkshire Hathaway uh, is buying Duracell batteries, making a swap with uh, Procter & Gamble for shares, uh, and good old Warren, he thinks everyone else uh, should pay taxes except him. Bottom line is that he's going to save a billion dollars on the deal. This is the third deal this year, uh, saving that kind of money. And the way that works, folks, is that he's had the shares for a long time. He's going to swap shares out on a tax-free exchange for the... Uh, for Duracell. That's, that's what that comes down to. NASDAQ composite. We go over to the composite. We take a look at the composite. This is what you have. Composite out here. Uh, got to a high out here at 4703. Right now you're at 4679. Uh, and we'll see whether it stays over this uh, 4678. 4678 was the high of yesterday. Uh, okay. Crude. Well, actually, let's go to gold first. We take a look at the gold market. We have a gold as this. Gold trading sideways out here today. And for gold trading sideways out here, that's a beautiful thing, folks. Why? Because when we go over to the oil market, uh, what you're going to see is this. Oil is getting sliced and diced. Um, CL, let's see, I got a chance. The CLF I'm dealing with right now, I believe. So oil market, uh, look at this. You're going to love it. Gasoline, oh, my God. Folks, gasoline, we're going to be, gasoline's going to go, we're at 198 
uh, in the wholesale market right now. That's going to 188. G gasoline, unleaded gas is going to be all about 220, 230. Uh, crude oil is down 3.76% right now. Uh, this contract is at 74.25. Monster volume. This thing is breaking, is breaking down nice. Yeah, with, on the CLF, uh, 164,000 contracts. This thing uh, is on its way down. Uh, yeah, you've broken the B points, broken it, broken it multiple times. Have the, it has the juice behind the move in all of the above. Bond market. Let's go over and take a look at the bonds. What we have with bonds is this. Bond market right now, the 10-year uh, up six ticks, 954,000 contracts, nice setup. 10-year can use more volume. Bottom line, though, what you do have is that you have the spike from last week and the 10-year at 127 flat out. That has volume. It's going to go get tested. October 15th has volume. That's where this baby wants to go. 30-year. We go take a look at the 30-year bond. What we have with the 30-year is this. 30-year, 293,000 contracts. Same setup there. The last, uh, let's say, that last Friday, 142.08. That's the next level for that. Short term, longer term, you're dealing with 148, that high volume spike. And we're actually dealing, so let's go to King Dollar. Now, King Dollar is really wild. And this is what it is. It hasn't hit the 88.88 yet. You know, and it's like, okay, man, are you, are you going to get into that level? You're not going to get into that level. Um, you know, it, it, that, that right there is a tough call. Uh, and the reason I'm saying it's a tough call is this, folks, is that when we got to that level, meaning that what, what we would have here, and this is what this is going to be really interesting, um, is that the swing high that the doll is dealing with. First, you, you start out with the swing high from 05. That swing high is 92.55. Wasn't expecting to get there. Wasn't expecting really to get to the next ones, which, which was in the 08 downdraft. That was uh, 89.25 and then 89.71. We came back down in 09. You go back up in 010 at 88.80. We hit 88.31, you know, and that very well may be it. Um, we'll see how this shakes out. A lot is going to have to do, no, no doubt. This next 45 minutes is going to be dynamite. Why? Because what you have, folks, um, is that will we get a total reversal in all the indices going into the close today? Uh, what, we, what we did have, the IWM is basically showing that it can't make it up to the swing point, and it should have made it to the swing point, folks. We made it to 118.25, but there was only 119.20. Uh, I mean, it should have been able to make it. Couldn't make it. Couldn't make it, number one. But what it did, number two, is it got to a higher high, has light of volume, giving it up, and it's getting in the lower range. The SPY, same set. Well, the SPY is going to be close, but it's the same type of setup. The SPY gets 63 million shares out here. Uh, the way this is set up intraday is that we're, we should be closing pretty close to the lows, meaning on the SPY, uh, we're at 203.96. I expect you're going to somewhere about 203.56. You get 203.56 or lower, guess what? That, that is a sweet little reversal. Um, the Dow, the Dow is going to be the wild one. The reason the Dow is going to be the wild one is this. The Dow is up 35 bucks. The Dow, of course, each and every day uh, for the last past seven days, it just crawled higher and higher and higher. The Dow, the Dow itself had gotten way away from the consolidation it was in, meaning 17,139. We went to 17,612. And after a couple little bars, you get that wide price spread today, gets over it and gets over it plenty that any of the buy stops of folks that were shot, got hit, and then reverses. When you see setups like that, that you get up, you get over, and it stretches, and then you come back, that is problematic, total reversal. So we'll see where that shakes out. You got about 45 minutes coming into it. Uh, some of the uh, high volume stocks in this low volume market out here. What do we have? Let's see, come on, baby. So you got, uh, Walmart's a big number. Walmart is up by 389. You get uh, Boeing up 281. Chevron uh, is getting whacked. You stay right there. Our man, Mr. Andy Heck, is coming up next. And then we get a special guest for you at 3.30. We've got our man, Mr. Chuck Butler. 
uh, from Everbank, and I'm, I'm sure many of you know Chuck. Chuck is the president of Everbank World Markets. We're going to be right back. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex box spreads. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Carol Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Tom? Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 33, Nasdaq's up 3, S&P's are off 2.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Andy Heck. And don't forget, folks, each and every Tuesday, Thursday, Andy has an outstanding program right here at TFNN, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the Technomental Commodity Report. The way you can get that, go to TFNN, go to newsletters, trading newsletters. You can test drive that right here, absolutely free. Andy Heck, what's going on? 
Oh, a lot. How yeah. are you? I'm doing great, man. Yeah, they're, they're, good. they're croaking. Good, good. Hey. I'm, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to uh, uh, hearing Chuck Butler on your show. I'm very interested to hear what he says about the dollar. I know there is no doubt. And folks, uh, you know uh, Chuck Butler, uh, great strategist. Uh, he's the president of the uh, EverBank World Markets. Uh, he's always talking uh, currencies, metals. Uh, all of the above. In fact, you can uh, get his daily finning by going over to everbank.com. It's, it's a great read uh, each and every day, uh, and it's a worldwide read, which is really cool. He's a great guy. He's been around for a long time, and I, I really respect him. So, Tom, Tom, yeah. things are really looking nasty out there today. N nasty. You see this crude oil price. So we broke the October 2011 lows. Yeah on crude. And it's not just crude. There's a smattering of commodities breaking lows today. Cotton broke uh, broke lows. Cotton is below 60 cents a pound. Yeah. It was it was 227 two years ago. Wow. That's intense. Could you man. imagine? Look at gasoline, man. Hey, Look at folks, gasoline, man. It, it has a one hand. It had a one handle briefly. It, 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 this is what's amazing, folks. Okay. Unleaded gas. It's an ABC down to 188. <clears throat> but bottom line is that at 188, that means that unleaded gas folks will probably run about 225 at the, at the pump. Yeah, right. It's amazing. I know. It's amazing. You know, I mean, we gotta we gotta wait and see what this dollar does. But uh, crude oil, man, crude oil went through went through that 74.95 was the key level because that was the October 2011 low. Okay. You know, it was kind of trading above it all day long, and uh, all of a sudden, man, a wave of selling came in. I guess people got long above it, and then they just got washed out. I mean, there's big volume there in that crude oil market. Oh, it's huge, man. It's huge. And, you know, the other important here. thing is, hey, um, natural gas, Tom. Yes. Very important to your natural gas. Uh, the EIA usually puts out its numbers on Thursdays. Okay. But this week, it's putting it out tomorrow because of the shortened holiday week, because of Veterans Day. But natural gas, because of this whole energy sector, went down and filled this gap on the charts today. Yeah, you were looking for that. <laughs> really quick. Yeah. I mean, we were trading Monday. We were trading over 450. Now we're down to 397 again. Yeah, you were forced. Now, volatility with a capital V. So you're at 462. And just so you understand something, 462, folks, the 408 is $5,000. <laughs> Oh, it's big money. I mean, you know, these are, this thing is uh, rocking it's, and rolling. It's huh? a monster. <laughs> monster. But, you know, you have other things. The, the, on the upside, grains are continuing to plow higher slowly. Um, there's bullish news about soybeans. The exports are up. Export inspections are up. A little bit of uh, issues with Brazilian drought and uh, weather in terms of planting the next crop. So that's supporting that. The corn is up. The wheat is up. You know, Cattle I, this, made a new all-time high when today. I, when I look at this wheat, so I like this wheat. Okay, so 480. One second. 480. Man, that's a big one. That's uh, 58, 68, 78 cents. That would be saying that we can get $6 wheat. Yeah, it's, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, wheat wheat is not a wheat is not like corn or soybeans. You know, the U.S. is only like the third or fourth largest producer in the world of wheat. Okay, we dominate corn and soybeans, no yeah. no doubt, and and the crops are enormous. But wheat's a different story. Right. Right. And and the other thing is that I think that I haven't read any reports, but my, my gut tells me that the cold snap is affecting the end of the harvest and maybe slowing it down or, may, you know, maybe stuff's freezing out there. Well, this, this, this cold front that is coming in across the country, folks, uh, you know, it's going to be a big one. Uh, well, it is a it's big for one. It's real. And it's, uh, yeah, there's, there's no doubt. It's, 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 I was looking at it on the map um, last night, and it's pretty amazing. And, and you know... We're going to be spared somewhat. I mean, it's going to be like 75 or something. But it almost reaches, it reaches Tallahassee. It just doesn't reach down into the Gulf enough, you know what I mean? Two-thirds of the country. Luckily, uh, here, in, here in Las Vegas, we're carved out. So it's, it's the balmy 68 degrees here. Yeah, oh, man, that, that's going to feel good, right? Yeah, it is. You know what the only problem here in Vegas when the, in, in this time of the year is? What? Because we're on the eastern side of the Pacific time zone, the, the sun goes down really early. That's the only problem. Yeah, no. But I, I, sure, I can't complain. <laughs> no. All.
No, no, no. Doubt, no doubt. The other thing is copper is looking weak here. Um, you know, it, it, there's a lot of things all over the place. I said, I said you have a, a new all-time high in cattle today, and you have copper breaking three dollars a pound. You have new all, lows in cotton, new lows in oil. So. The markets are all over the place. There's a lot of volatility in commodities here. Right, and that's why, you know, even when we talk with Chuck in the next segment, uh, it's one of the keys here, folks, is that with commodities down so bad, with oil breaking, you know, gold hasn't yet, but it's like, okay, man, are we going to take another leg down? It's like, ho, oh, ho, you know, because if this dollar, you know, really does want to get up and get into those 2010 highs, you know, is it going to spike it? You know what I mean? Yeah, what, yeah, what I, yeah. I mean, you know, platinum. Platinum is very close to support. Supports eleven uh, eleven eighty six. We're trading at eleven ninety four and a half. The only the only precious metals that's really hanging in there is palladium, and I think that's more due to the fact that eighty percent of the world production comes out of Russia. Yeah. So, well, what, you know, fundament, the, the key is fundamentals become very important. You know, when you're, you have to be very picky now when you're looking to go long commodities. You have to make sure that the fundamentals back up, you know, the, uh, the market here. But you know what? Well, that, not but, but that, that's so cool, really, because we know that inside the, the commodity market, when you go underneath the cost of production, guess what? You know, you can stay there for a bit, but you're not going to stay there forever. Absolutely. And you know what's going to be the best example of that, Tom, is going to be iron ore. Okay. We're going to see iron ore prices continue to go lower. And two dominant producers, BHP and Rio Tinto, they basically control that market. And right now they're pushing out all the higher cost producers. So when the market stabilizes and demand for steel comes back, these guys will own the market and they'll push prices all the way up. Yeah, amazing. It really is amazing. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a very interesting. And it's, it's in some ways... It's kind of easier to do the analysis on this than stocks because you don't have management of companies involved. Yeah, oh, listen, I, I would absolutely agree. I mean, what happens in the commodity market, it's like you need commodities. You don't need stocks, okay? Right. You know, we use commodities and they do get used, you know. But, so there's, there's definitely a differential uh, inside of that. I wanted to ask you, what do you think of these bonds here, the 30-year bond? I think it's going a lot higher and yields are going a lot lower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I tend to I tend to agree with that, and I think that that I think that that the reason for that is that the contagion from Europe is going to cause a lot of buying in U.S. bonds. People are going to if, if the dollar's going up, they're going to buy dollars. They got to put the dollar somewhere. They're so, going to put it in in bonds. Well, watch, watch, and we just take the uh, it just you don't even have to get in a technical business here. If we just stay in the fundamental business, it's like okay, you lend money to the United States on thirty years for three percent, right? You, right. you can go to France and get only 2.2%. Really? You go to Spain, oh who's God. broke, they get 3.4. Okay, that makes no sense whatsoever. That's a no-brainer. Yeah. that makes. So then if we go to the 10-year, this is where this gets really whacked out, folks. We're paying, uh, you can lend money to the United States at 2.3 in a 10-year. Or you can go to France at 1.1. It's like, oh, really? I'm going to give my money to France at 1.1? I'm going to give it to Italy at 2.3? They're out of they're out of business. I like, hey, we all should go to Italy. Go to the Amalfi Coast. But the bottom line, don't give me your money. I just go there and drink espresso. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> hey, Andy, thanks so much. We look forward to the show tonight at 5 o'clock. Have a great one. I'm looking forward to hearing Chuck. You stay Take right care, there, folks. We've got our man, Mr. Chuck Butler, the president of uh, Everbank World Markets. We're going to be talking the dollar. We're going to be talking metals. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials are up 36. NASDAQ uh, is up one. S&Ps are down a buck and a half. And now let's go over to our man, Mr. Chuck Butler. Chuck is the president, folks, of Everbank World Markets. I'm sure many of you uh, have read Chuck. He has the, the Daily Finney. It's an awesome uh, read each and every day. Well, the way you can do that, you just come over to everbank.com, and you're going to be able to uh, hunt. Actually, you can just Google everbank.com, Chuck Butler, uh, and the baby will pop right up. You can read it each and every uh, day. Uh, and if you happen to be uh, in Orlando at the upcoming Money Show, you're going to be able to uh, see Chuck. Chuck is going to be one of the uh, main speakers there. Chuck Butler, welcome to TFNN. 
Oh well, thank you very much for the invite. Hey, I'll tell you, you know, when I was when I was reading you today, I was I was cracking up because the way, of course, that the Money Show does work is that they they want the uh, they want to know, okay, what you're going to talk about right now, and you know, being such a, in the currency markets and the metal markets, that's like that's like years away, isn't it? In the February. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know. Uh, we used to think that uh, uh, it used to be that currencies and metals were long, sweeping moves, and they were trends that you could follow for long periods of time. Yes. But since 2008, all, all, that game has changed. It's all over with, and now you you need to be on the edge of your seat uh, just about every day. Yeah. You know, you know what has changed dramatically too, which is really cool, is that folks have got to learn a lot more about currencies and how they move markets, Chuck, don't you think? Oh, yeah. You know, uh, we started speaking at the, at the World Money Show in 1998. Yes. And at that time, I was the only person on, on, on the list of speakers at that money show that was talking about investing in currencies and metals. Okay. Now, if you go to look, look at their list of speakers, well, they've got dozens of them. And they're all talking about the same thing. And, well, I mean, sort of talking about the same thing. Some are talking about actual trading, you know, platforms where you move and you use leverage and stuff like that. that, that that's, that's for the people that have really deep pockets and, and, and don't care about their money. Sure. But really, uh, to talk about how currencies are used as a diversifying feature of your investment portfolio, we're still only the, the only one. And, and, well, and in that context, which is really cool, when you're at everbank.com, folks, what you're going to see is that they have, um, it's called a market safe BRICS CD. And what's so intriguing about this is that uh, the way that it's set up, um, you know, it's set up as a CD, but the fact of the matter is, is that uh, you are uh, putting U.S. dollars in, you're saying that, okay, you want to look at the BRIC currencies, and if the currencies go up against what you you put it, because the initial date, uh, the final date is December 3rd, um, you make money. But guess what? If the currencies go against you, you basically get your principal back. Can you talk a little bit about how you put that product together? Because that's really intriguing, man. Yes. Uh, you know, what we found over the years is that uh, uh, people really do like having uh, the ability to invest in something that they think has has potential, but has risk. Yes. But if you take the risk portion out of that, then that gives them that that you know that invincibility, that Superman T-shirt that they get to wear. Sure. Uh, saying that they have they now have the opportunity to invest in this this section, and not experience any uh, 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 movement uh, uh, in risk. So. That is, uh, that's why we put these things together. I mean, we've had market safe CDs that have been based on gold, silver, um, uh, Japanese REITs, commodities, the S&P 500. I mean, we've had them across the board on all sorts of things. The one we did before this one was called the Treasury one, and it bet on whether the Treasury interest rate would be higher in five years versus where it is now. Okay. Um, and, 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 and so... Uh, you know, that's that's the sort of thing that people say, oh, well, I think interest rates are going to be higher in five years than they are now. Uh, but, I, you know, but if I buy a bond, that's a loss if the, if it, if the interest rates go up. But sure. if I buy this, I gain if bonds go up, you know, if the rates go up. So that's how that's how we put them together. It's really just a, a basis of seeing where people want to have an opportunity to take advantage of, of potential gains and not experience any risk. Right. And that's, the, you know, with these BRICS, uh, it's Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Uh, we're talking about countries that have come together and formed a new, uh, you know, development bank that's going to compete with the IMF. So now these countries can, can now, um, you know, go to their own, uh, development bank for loans or actually give loans to other emerging countries without them having to get on their knees and beg to the IMF for a payout. And you know what's so cool here? It's, uh, so watch, folks, okay? You have until now, until December 3rd, to basically make the deposit. The deposit has to stay there for three years. Uh, there's no monthly fee. But what's so cool, Chuck, 
And this is where I want to talk to you about the dollar. The dollar has been on a tear. So the, yeah. the, what you have here on the reality wise, like, okay, it's on a tear. It's trying to test the swing highs of 2010 right now. So it seems that, you know, if people are bullish on those currencies anyway, this would be a sweet time to basically, you're covering your downside because you can't lose any money, but you can get that upside if, in fact, that's where this goes. Yes, and exactly. And, you know, when we put when we go to put a, a market safe together like this one right now, yes. and we have this funding period, and all during that funding period we see those currencies moving down, that gives everyone a better opportunity to buy at a lower price. Right, right. And, and that is what you always want to do when you're doing any kind of investing. You want to look for that low price uh, to buy so that you can buy more and you have a lower cost basis. Yeah, no and, doubt. And, and, and with the dollar having a little bit of enjoyment here um, since around July or August of this year, uh, it, it has brought these currencies to levels that are much cheaper than they were before and excellent buying opportunities. I yeah. You know, a few years ago, uh, we get a lot of calls in currencies here. And what I thought was so cool, and you may still have this product, um, but we were getting calls uh, for folks that they had children that were going to school in the UK, okay? And what the folks were doing, and they would ask me, well, listen, you know, we're going over to Everbank and they have an account that I can put US dollars in, and then the, that gets converted, uh, you know, into British pounds, okay? Um, and I remember specifically they were asking me, and I says, well, that's so cool. I says, because that's when you're delta neutral, you're matching, you know that you're gonna have a bill of twenty or $30,000 next year. Do you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. so if you, you want to take out that currency risk, well, yeah, that's a, that's a good bank account to have, right? That is, that is exactly correct. Uh, you know, basically we have had these, those types of accounts for, for since 1985. Okay. Um, and uh, what they do is they, they are called uh, uh, access accounts. And they're like a savings account at a bank, but they're denominated in over 20 different currencies. Yes. And you choose the currency that you want to own. And then it's a liquid account, so you can you can buy or sell it at any time. Right. Uh, you know that we're open Monday through Friday. Sure. So, uh, or you can buy it and then use it to pay for an obligation overseas, make a foreign, you know, and will yes. affect the foreign wire for that person. Right. Um, and uh, that's what a lot of people have used uh, those those access accounts for. No, you can. And then, uh, in addition to the access accounts, we also have CDs that are three, six, and 12-month CDs that are denominated in, in those same type 20 different currencies. So you can uh, either have it in a CD or a uh, liquid uh, savings account. Yeah, that, that is so creative. You, I mean, you, you, you folks have got so creative there. It's amazing. And what's so cool is that we know that boundaries now are one click of a button, right? I mean, you know, you, you, can, you can move any way you want, but it's nice that you can actually move any way you want in the context that whether you're paying bills like that and or you think that the dollar right now is at the top of its range and you might want to basically get a brick and say, okay, I'll put my money in this and say, I know I can't lose money, which, which in itself almost sounds like, oh, this can't be real, but we know that it is, right? <laughs> Well, yeah, uh, you know, that's the thing. Uh, you know, we've had several of these, like I said, we've, we've done these for years. And we've sure. had several, several of them mature over the years, and people are always very happy to find out that if the thing that they were invested in didn't take off uh, like they thought it was going to, they get their principal back. Yeah. And uh, it, it's, just a, it's just a wonderful thing that I think that, uh, that we came up with many, many years ago. Yeah. Well, listen, we really appreciate you having on. Look forward to having you on a lot. We, I want to talk more about the dollar. I want to talk about gold. I want to talk about silver. Uh, the oil market is getting whacked out here today big time, you know. So there's no doubt that, uh, as you said at the beginning of the conversation, uh, between currencies and, and commodities, these things move, and they move very fast these days. Yes, and, and, and you know, and I look forward to having these discussions with you because, uh, uh, you know, I I always look at it as as my opportunity to get my point across to everyone that these are things that they should be looking at on a daily basis. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, Chuck, you have a great night, safe night, and of course, we look forward to reading uh, uh, the Finnick tomorrow morning. All right. Well, thank you. Okay, man. Have a great one. All right. You stay have right there, day. folks.
Absolutely. We're coming right back. Dow's up 45. Nasdaq's up four. S&P's uh, up one and a half. We're going to be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. When you first learn something in life, you have the most questions as you begin to apply that knowledge, which is why Steve Rhodes came up with the idea for his seven-week trading program. It all begins Saturday, November 22nd, when Steve Rhodes will host a live three-hour morning workshop where he'll teach his attendees the precise methodology he uses when placing trades. You'll then receive six weekly updates each Monday morning discussing the possible alerts currently setting up in the market. Steve will then bring everyone back together for a final three-hour live workshop Friday, January 9th, where he'll discuss the methodology that went into each of the six weekly updates, making sure that you're confident in applying what you've learned so that you can begin navigating the market on your own. You can sign up right now for this entire seven-week trading program with Steve Rhodes for a one-time payment of only $395. If you're a Mastering Probability subscriber, then you can save an extra $100 off that price. For all the details, visit the front page of TFNN.com right now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate 
educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach out levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now, 40, Nasdaq's up five, S&P's up flat. And uh, let's see what we have out here. It looks that uh, intraday here. So this, uh, when we were just talking with uh, Chuck from Everbank, uh, let's see, uh, Halliburton is up 276. Uh, and this is unusual that we, you get this uh, action. Halliburton, Baker Hughes talks move quickly to Dow Jones. News service says, uh, and what that is doing is that that's putting um, Halliburton higher. Uh, let's see, BHP, I, I suspect what you're going to see, uh, Baker Hughes, BHI. And look at that, uh, this is interesting. So um, BHI, and this is, this is really uh, unusual, no doubt, intraday. So Baker Hughes, folks, has just gone intraday from $48 to $61. And what the news is, is that the um, Halliburton is in talks to buy Baker Hughes. The thing is going to be, I can't wait to see what the SEC does about this one. Because <laughs> uh, what you're going to find is, is this. We, we already know that the, the aspect of the news feeds, uh, you, can buy, you can buy a faster news feed, folks. And the bottom line is that, of course, the funds have faster news feeds. So that faster news feed, in this case, is going to make some big money. Now, what it did to the market, you know, Dow bounced uh, about 34 points. Uh, S&P, let's see, uh, so the S&P got up, uh, if we take a look at the SPY, that got up uh, 19 cents. And that, what it, what it just did, just went into ice. So it's really going to be intriguing here. And we're talking in the tiger's den right now. Uh, if the um, the market can stay into the positive, well, it's going to be an absolute mind blow. And it seems that these types of events do happen at highs when they're trying to hold the market. Uh, you get an, an event 10, 15 minutes or intraday in general. OK, uh, we'll see whether if, in fact, the, the S&Ps can can hold up here. Um, what, what you do have, of course, is that the largest loser inside the S&P you know, prior to this was the oil and gas service sector. And, uh, you know, when you do take a look at that sector right now, you get the yin and the yang in that sector, okay? The oil, the large integrated oils are still down. Halliburton, of course, is not down. Uh, Halliburton's up by uh, 212. And BH, uh, Baker Hughes is up by uh, 10 bucks right now. Uh, so we'll see where this does shake out coming into the close. And, in fact, we'll see. Uh, B, oh, actually, BHI. So let's see what BHI. It's amazing that they just let the stock keep trading, actually. Um, Halliburton to, uh, said to be in talks to acquire Baker Hughes. That's all, that's all it says. The, uh, the Wall Street Journal says that. Um, so uh, we'll see uh, how this shakes out at the end of the day. Baker Hughes, uh, that equity has gone from $75 uh, today it was trading out at, let's see, um, that was trading out at uh, 40, uh, let's see, so it was trading out at 48.65, testing its high volume low from 47.51. The reason for the halt, you know, we, we're talking with some of the Tigers out here, and they had halted. That halt hadn't, I don't believe that had to do with um, the aspect of the talks. What that halt had to do with is that inside the NYSE right now, if in fact you spike a certain percentage, they halt the stock. That's what that was all about. It's a temporary halt. That's just a computer halt. Stops it, fills it up again, and sends its on, send, sends its, on its way. That, that's what that's all about. Because the spike was so dramatic in the context of what the stock was trading at. So we'll... Uh, uh, we'll see where this uh, baby does shake out. The Dow itself, uh, even even with that aspect, uh, doesn't look like it's going to be able to hold price out here, which is going to really blow some minds, folks. Okay, and it's not that yeah we've been up every single day, but uh, the Dow Industrials itself, the um, with that happening, you think that 
more of the oil and gas service stocks, they'd be piling into those. Why? Because we'll see where the deal, the deal gets done. But uh, at this particular point, that is not happening. Uh, Big Blue, uh, and, and, and this, this is what's really wild, is that the, the weighting structure inside the Dow, because of the weighting structure, uh, what you have, of course, is Big Blue is, is the biggest weighting in, in the Dow Industrials, okay? That's only up 75 cents. But there's, that oil service is still down, and that is dragging it down um, versus uh, a Walmart. Because a Walmart, Walmart went to the moon today. You know, Walmart broke, uh, broke out monster volume. You know, it's, Walmart's up $3.70, trading out at uh, $82.50. And it looks like Walmart's going to get all the business uh, for the holidays. That's, that's the way it seems to be going to be shaken out. Um, the market loved that Walmart said that the uh, number of deals that are going to be out there in promotions are going to be fast, they're going to be furious, they're going to be all of the above. Now, with that being said and Walmart doing that, can you just imagine the carnage that's going to be in retail? Because Walmart, no doubt, has the cheapest prices, period. They're going to basically put a hammering on the rest of these uh, retail stocks uh, coming into this, uh, because if they're starting uh, deals right here, right now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a big deal. And, you know, uh, depending whether you shop at Walmart, Target, or where else you shop at, I can tell you flat out, um, you know, between fishing gear, camping gear, all of that, they, you, can't, you can't beat them. You, you can't beat them. So those other um, retailers uh, just got to be totally flipped out. There's no, there's no doubt about it, because... Uh, you know, they'll discount that and right down to the bone. And uh, they seem to be able to uh, not only just discount it. What they did do when they come out with their numbers, they, they, they didn't make their revenue number. They, their earnings were a penny or two over, but they did not make their revenue number. Uh, coming into the close out here, you know, it uh, looks like uh, s and are going to be flat to down one. Uh, Dow's up 27. NASDAQ's going to be flat. Uh, small caps, let's see. Yeah, small caps are giving it up. I mean, our man Jay in the den, he's got this down pat. It was a beautiful thing he was explaining. You know, yesterday that, that you know, look at it looked like they wanted to tag it, couldn't hit it. See ya, don't want to be ya. And what's so cool about the small caps is this, folks, is that they got to a higher high, okay? And they're going to have lighter volume. You know, yesterday we did 34 million, today we did 23 million, got over the high. It's going to close at the low of yesterday, uh, pretty close to it. Right now at 116.82. And 116.66 is that low. So um, there's going to be um, not only higher volatility out there. This volatility looks to me like uh, it is back. Dollar index is still hanging tough. That, that dollar index is out there. That dollar index uh, basically traded sideways today. 23,000 contracts uh, in a sideways move. Oil's the big story out here today. We are going to save a fortune on heat and oil. On gas, for all you folks, uh, I know this big cold front's coming in. You're going to save some big money. Uh, heating oil out here today, uh, we're trading uh, wholesale. It's at uh, 234. That, uh, that's also an ABC structure on the way down. This is going to be just amazing watching this shake out. I mean, heat, heating oil, 288. So you get 40 cents. Yeah, heating oil is going to 210. 210. And right now, you're at 235. Dow Industrials right now up uh, 27, Nasdaq's up 2, S&P's are down 1. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back with some uh, numbers after the close. A lot of earnings coming out. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. This quote's by Albert Ferretti. I start with the idea that nothing is impossible and everything can be done in the end. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 40, NASDAQ up 5, SP's flat. Gold contract up $1.50, trading at 1,160 an ounce. Silver up 2 cents at $15.60 an ounce. Platinum down 8.20. At 
1,194 an ounce. Caught rough, four pennies at 2.95 a pound. Light sweet crude that got whacked good, down two dollars and sixty three cents, trading out at 74.57. Whether it's going to be uh, heating our houses, folks, or driving the cars, that is going to get a lot cheaper. Gasoline uh, went down uh, almost ten cents wholesale. Uh, we're going to be running out. Uh, you're going to be seeing gas at the pump at around 225, which is going to be pretty wild. Bond market. We had the 10-year uh, up uh, three ticks, 30-year up uh, three ticks. Tens at 126.14. 30 is at 141.07. King dollar down 81 ticks at 87.82. The euro up 38, trading at 124, and the yen up 30 at 115.78. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. It was called, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? This is what you have. You have two zero three nine. That's that's your number. And you know your high uh, is two zero four one. That's the last high that was generated on October eleventh. Today we went to a higher high. You get to two zero four six. You traded down to 2030, and they landed at 2039. So uh, bottom line, S&P is having a tough time holding price up at these levels. Uh, if we go look at the SPY, what you're going to see with the SPY is this, is that the SPY closed up 23 cents. You're at 204.19, and you did uh, 83 million shares. Dow Industrials. Take a look at the Dow, what you have with the Dow. We had some wide price spread in the Dow out here today. Uh, Dow closed up 40 bucks. The Dow is over its highs, meaning the closing highs, which is 638. You're at 652. And that is saying the bottom line is that that Dow can get up to higher price once again. Inside the Dow Industrials, where, where you had the strength inside the Dow Industrials, Walmart. Walmart was the animal out there today. Walmart was up $3.74, trading at 82.94. dollars the second in line was uh, Cisco, uh, was up 57. Boeing was up 266, and Microsoft was up 83. Taken away from it, you had Caterpillar down 188. Chevron was off a buck 20. Procter and Gamble was down uh, 88. And you had Exxon Mobil off 72. If we do go over to the XLE, folks, and what you're going to see is this: XLE comes down with volume, down to, had a low out there of 83.95, closed at 85.34, and what that was all about intraday, it had that spike, and intraday, well, at uh, 30, well, what, uh, let's see, at quarter of four, uh, what you had is that you had um, the Wall Street Journal uh, news service come out that Halliburton was in talks to buy Baker Hughes, and if you want to see volatility, oh, baby, so check it out, at a... Uh, at 15.30 today, 3.30, uh, the first spike in Halliburton it went from 53.57 and then went up to 58, okay? Then it crashed down to 52 again, 53 rather, okay? So you talk about fast, furious, oh man, oh, pretty amazing. So we'll see what uh, comes out after the close out here. Baker Hughes, more bizarre though. Baker Hughes, this is the most bizarre you're going to get, so check this out. You're talking about people getting, people must be licking their wounds right now. Uh, well, well, we'll see how it shakes out. But this is what you have with Baker Hughes. Baker Hughes got started off at 51, 51, 63 at 330. Got all the way to 61. It's trading at 53 right now. Is that right? No, now it's trading at 58. They can't, Bloomberg can't even keep up with this. Oh, this is, this is going to be interesting. It's not stopping right now. It's saying 53, but it's not 53. On my, because I can see it going across the uh, at 58. Uh, AMAT just come out with numbers after the close. Uh, AMAT closed at 22 dollars and 62 cents. That's trading at 22 bucks right now. Numbers go like this on AMAT. AMAT close. Um, the estimate was 27 cents. They made 27 cents. They uh, the sales were short of estimates. Uh, bottom line is that they see. Yes, yeah, so look at that's a high-end consolidation that's going to uh, basically move to lower price. Uh, JWN. So let's take a look at uh, this is uh, Nordstrom. Nordstrom closed at seventy-three dollars and twenty-five cents. Big retailer out here. That's trading at uh, seventy-four oh two. So you got that up seventy-five cents. Uh, numbers go like this. 
The, their sales, third quarter net sales were up 8.9%. That's a good number. Their net sales were $3 billion. Uh, their earnings per share was 73 cents. And they're in line. That's how it was. Well, the estimate was 71 cents. They, they, they made 73 cents. Uh, it's going to be, what's intriguing here is that uh, this is going to be, you know, some of these retailers look like they're going to basically do all right. The number's coming in fine. Other retailers, they're just going to get smoked. It looks like to me that what you're going to see is that you're going to see Walmart take a lot of um, retailers uh, and go south and go south in a big way. Gold contract. What do we have with gold out here? Uh, gold stayed flat. Yep, a buck sixty. And, and in that context, folks, that's really dynamite uh, if you happen to be long the metal markets. Why? Because what you had is this. Gasoline was down 4.6%. Natural gas was off 4.4. Crude oil was down 3.7. Heating oil was off 3.3. Now, let's go, you know, and that has to do with, number one, it's an ABC structure on the way down. Uh, number two, most of the time, it's the strength of the dollar. Dollar didn't move today. You look at the gasoline market first. This is going to be amazing. We're going to save big, big dollars, folks. So the gasoline market right now is another ABC structure on the way down. Wholesale, you're at 198. It's going to 188. That's on the, yeah, that's about the cleanest ABC I can get and the smallest ABC I can get. 145, 35, yeah, 188. 188's the number. Um, if I make a, a bigger judgment, it's almost too big, though. 77, oh my God, 70 cents. Can it really go to a buck 50? It can. So what you have is this on the gas market. When you do an ABC structure on the way down or the way up, you want to stay the most conservative you can because you're looking for straight line moves. So the, the straight line move I'm, I'm taking, folks, is from September 30th when gas was at 245 and it's about as straight as you can get down to 207. So there's, there's the A to B. That being said, gas has actually gone straight down from 279. You know, if I took the 279... Uh, then you're talking about a 70 cent A to B, which ends up giving you a dollar and a half wholesale gas, which hey, we'll, we'll find out where it goes. Um, um, you know, the, the 288, um, uh, one, 188, yeah, 188 uh, is the most conservative approach to get gas down into those levels. King dollar, let's go over to King dollar. So King dollar flat market out here today in King dollar. And King dollar, folks, okay. Tried to get to higher price, you know, didn't have much of a price spread out here today. The price spread was only from 87.70 up to the uh, 87.96. That's unusual for King Dollar. Uh, what, you, what you still have in this marketplace is that uh, where the dollar wants to go, that's where the market wants to go. Bonds, bonds continue to want higher price, you know, so we'll see how this whole baby does shake out. But right now, the bond market, 10-year, 30-year, uh, bottom line, that, that little baby is, looks like it's building cause, and the cause that it's building is to get into the highs that were generated on October 15th. That's the way this thing uh, seems to be uh, setting up right now. Uh, the news on Bic, uh, Halliburton. Halliburton is in talks to acquire Baker Hughes in what would be one of the largest takeovers of the U.S. energy uh, business. Uh, said a person with knowledge of the matter. Baker Hughes, the third largest oil service provider, has a market capitalization of more than $25 billion. The Wall Street Journal reported in talks earlier today. Uh, so what you, what you do have out here, uh, and, and what was unusual in this, this aspect, uh, is that they actually made it, uh, had it come out intraday uh, at 3.30. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFN. 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials finished up 40. NASDAQ up 5. S&P's... Uh, up a dollar. We're going to break back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC-insured metals. 
And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Emma Bank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Terrell Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading, and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. So we had the Dow Industrials finish up 40, NASDAQ up 5, S&P's up 1. And you know, folks, uh, we, and we just had uh, our man, Mr. Chuck Butler, on. And if you want to hear that interview, you can go to Channel 3 on Tiger TV. Uh, if you are interested in one of those market safe BRICS CDs, uh, the way you do it, go to everbank.com slash BRICS CDs, and that's B-R-I-C-S-C-D. That'll bring you uh, right up. And just for, to recap how that BRICS CD works, it's a three-year CD. Uh, the minimum is $1,500. Uh, there's no monthly fee. Uh, and your exposure, the way that you expose, this would give you uh, exposure to the Brazilian Rail, Russian ruble, Indian rupee, Chinese ribbonite, and the South African rand. Uh, it's a three-year deal, and what does happen there is that uh, you can't lose your principal. If, if in fact, the, those currencies go up against the U.S. dollar, you'd get the upside. Uh, the downside, you're basically, f you, you are flat on. Uh, that's what it comes down to. Uh, so that the URL is everbank.com 
forward slash Bricks CD. And Bricks is spelled B R I C S C D. Uh, after the close out here, we had uh, a few numbers come out. Uh, the first one, uh, AMAT. Uh, AMAT uh, basically uh, come out. I believe uh, they made their number. Bottom line is that. Uh, their sales uh, sh a shot of estimates. So let's see what they're saying out here. Applied materials, excuse me, folks. See, um, first quarter earnings per share at 25 to 29. Uh, the market saw that coming in at 31. So that's a little light. Uh, their first quarter revenue, also a little light. 2.2 billion they're looking at. Uh, the market was looking for 2.3 billion. This is going forward, of course. Uh, they think the, uh, well, the, and on this quarter, the earnings per share come in right at uh, 27 cents. Uh, so uh, bottom line is that uh, uh, they're a little light. Uh, let's go back over to Halliburton for a second. So Halliburton right now, uh, let me just see where this is trading because this is, okay, so, so Halliburton did go to 58. So check this out, man. This is intense. So Halliburton intraday spiked from 330 to 345 to 58 bucks. Uh, and spiked right back lower coming into the close. And all, all that's out there right thus far is this. So, so check this out. This is intense, man. So at 1540, Halliburton's at 58. At 1550, Halliburton's at 5351. Um, it's pretty intense. BHI. Uh, now, the, what the news is is that Halliburton's in talk to take over um, BHI. BHI... Uh, is it 50? Let me just make sure of this now. BHI is trading at 59.20. The amazing part here is that they haven't held, held these stocks yet. You know, this is where this gets really intriguing, right? Um, but they have not hold, held the stocks yet. Uh, then this is material. So it's going to be interesting to see, number one, why hasn't each... Either one of these companies come out and held the stock, or the SEC come in and said, "Okay, hey, listen, man, w what's going on here?" Because in Banker Hughes's deal it went from 51 up to 61. Now the the deal would be is that if you had bought Baker Hughes, you're much better off because Baker Hughes still is trading up at those levels. And um, let's see, yeah, you're still trading fast and furious. Someone just bought 4,900 shares at uh, 4,500 shares rather at 59 dollars and. 30 cents. Uh, some of the high volume stocks uh, in this market, which is still a low volume market, uh, Twitter. Twitter was down 250. Apple was up a buck 57. Uh, Walmart was the big animal out there today. That was up 374. Uh, Jalide Science gave up 270. Schlumberger was down 258. Let's go to SLB for a second because it's, it's amazing that Schlumberger it did, didn't get some juice underneath that either. It, it didn't. But uh, Schlumberger had, was down as low as 92. 72 closed out at 94.85. Uh, got a slight bump, but it certainly didn't get a bump. Um, that when, you, when you're talking a buy-in situation, what will be interesting here as to what is the actual price that uh, may come across in this deal, and uh, what will that value the other companies for? Uh, BRK, Berkshire Hathaway, uh, good old Warren Buffett. Uh, uh, came in today, Berkshire Hathaway stocks up 77 cents, $146.29. Uh, That's the B share. Uh, and what you do have uh, with this Berkshire Hathaway this morning uh, is making a deal with Procter & Gamble. They're buying the Duracell battery uh, sec sec sector of Procter & Gamble. Uh, the, the amazing, the amazing part, and this is just going to, you know, this should come back to haunt Buffett forever too. You know, if you remember, you know, Buffett basically, uh, I don't know, two or three years ago, he's saying, yeah, everyone should pay tax. I'd pay more tax. The bottom line is that um, this is a tax-free deal. Uh, again, he's swapping shares for the equity inside. He's shopping. He's putting shares back from to Procter and Gamble that he owns and getting. Duracell. And what ends up happening in a deal like that, okay, uh, is that it's, a, it's called a cash-rich split-off. It avoids capital gains not only to him, it avoids capital gains to Berks I mean, to Procter & Gamble also. Uh, this was the same type of deal that he had just pulled off uh, when he basically uh, swapped out Graham Holdings um, for cash 
and uh, that was the, you know, the publisher, of course, of the uh, Washington Post. Um, you know, the bottom line is that, yeah, it's smart that he did it, um, and that's the way that, you know, he should be doing business. Uh, the hypocrisy in the deal uh, is saying earlier that, yeah, you know, he wants to pay more taxes, everyone should be paying more taxes. It's like, really? Well, if you want to pay more taxes, well, pay them, you know? Let's go take a look at the uh, XAU and the HUI. So the XAU out here today, uh, pull back slightly. Buck, not bad. Uh, if we take a look at a, a few of the equities uh, in the HUI, we, we, we take a look at Gold Corp. Gold Corp was back 42 cents, 7.9 million shares. That's, e that's easy, too. That's, that's not bad because that's going into 14 million shares. We take a look at an Eco Eagle AEM. That came back with the 3.5 million. That's that's kind of tough. It's going into 4.8, but I'd rather see a uh, lighter volume uh, and that uh, AEM. We take a look at uh, SLW, uh, Silver Wheaton. The Silver Wheaton out here, uh, up five cents today. And this is this is starting to get a little bit stronger. And that's what has to happen uh, inside the, especially the silver equities, folks. Uh, the so if we go over to silver for a second, we take a look at silver. Silver is trading at 1562, SIZ4. So what we have with silver, yeah, silver, silver absolutely just has no strength. Uh, you know, each leg down has been basically with more volume. You get a sideways move out here today, and what you need, what you need in the silver market is you need a wide price spread, uh, accelerated volume in order to get to uh, higher prices. Uh, so we'll see where that uh, whole baby uh, does shake out. But uh, what you will see is that the the bottom line is that uh, the silver contract, the silver equities, they both need that wide price spread accelerated volume. And, of course, this is going to be all predicated on that good old U.S. dollar. You stay right there, folks. Uh, we got a great guest coming up. Uh, we got a, uh, uh, Daryl Guppy is going to be coming up. And he's going to be also a presenter in the e-signal back in black. Uh, that's going to be a multi-speaker free webinar, uh, which is coming up this Saturday morning. You can sign up for it by going to eSignal.com, hit the Education tab. You're going to see Back in Black absolutely free this coming Saturday morning, 9 to 1. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. 
When you first learn something in life, you have the most questions as you begin to apply that knowledge, which is why Steve Rhodes came up with the idea for his seven-week trading program. It all begins Saturday, November 22nd, when Steve Rhodes will host a live three-hour morning workshop where he'll teach his attendees the precise methodology he uses when placing trades. You'll then receive six weekly updates each Monday morning discussing the possible alerts currently setting up in the market. Steve will then bring everyone back together for a final three-hour live workshop Friday, January 9th, where he'll discuss the methodology that went into each of the six weekly updates, making sure that you're confident in applying what you've learned so that you can begin navigating the market on your own. You can sign up right now for this entire seven-week trading program with Steve Rhodes for a one-time payment of only $395. If you're a Mastering Probability subscriber, then you can save an extra $100 off that price. For all the details, visit the front page of TFNN.com right now. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments. And whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary perspective prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares to obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus please contact direction shares at 800-851-0511 the prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing an investment in the funds is subject to risk including the possible loss of principal the funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results understand the risk of shorting and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments distributor foresight fund services llc Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We had the uh, Dow finish uh, up 40, NASDAQ up 5, S&P's up 1. Now let's go over to our guest today, uh, Daryl Guppy. Daryl is a trader, author, financial columnist, uh, television personality, and father of the Guppy Multiple Moving Average, GMMA trading concept. Uh, Daryl is going to be in the workshop this coming Saturday with eSignal back in black. You can sign up for this at eSignal.com. You go to eSignal.com, hit the education tab. Daryl's going to be speaking from 9.30 to 10.15, and he's going to be talking about trading back to black using trend. Daryl Guppy, welcome to TFNN. Thank you very much. Well, listen, I, I appreciate you getting up early. We have a great connection. Now, you're in Singapore right now, right? No, I'm actually in Shanghai. You're in Shanghai. That's a beautiful thing, man. Well, listen, we appreciate you getting up so early. You know, looking over, you know, and it's really cool. Um, and, and folks, when, when you go over here, uh, he has a website. And the website would be A-N-T-S-S-Y-S dot -S com. Uh, tell us, what is that, exactly does that stand for, Daryl? Well, it's, it's a combination of a, of, of a set of initials of those of us who helped to develop this particular approach. We had the GMMA for quite a while, and we've been using it for many, many years. Okay. But it was time to move into a new area to get, add some more sophistication to that, and the ANT system does that. I see. Cool. And you trade a lot of different markets. I see you trade the NASDAQ, S&P, Australia, gold, Shanghai, Singapore. Um, is there a difference in trading these markets? Talk to me about that. There are some 
mechanical differences in the way that you may execute orders between those markets, but all markets remain pretty fundamentally the same, from a technical perspective, that is. And that means that we can apply the ANT system. And with the ANT system, in the chart display, it actually looks like a series of ANTs crawling over the chart. That's part of the reason why we, uh, we said from this particular acronym. I got it. That's pretty cool. And, you know, and you, we're, we're talking a trend trading system, correct? Yes, and then what we do in this particular instance is we're looking at short-term trends, and we're applying it on an intraday basis. We find that we're getting, we're capturing the major trends coming out of uh, uh, out of e minis, out of uh, silver, out of gold, out of oil. It's applying very successfully across commodity markets, index markets. And is there a particular market that you particularly like to trade? We find particular advantages in trading e minis. We also find particular advantages in trading gold at this point in time. But the key factor is that we apply this with currencies as well. So what we're looking for was currencies who are selecting at the highest levels of volatility and then applying the ANTS approach to that. And we're finding that that gives us uh, some very, very good returns, consistent returns. And what do you think about the strength in the dollar? Strength in the dollar is likely to continue. We've got an upside sitting at about 90 at the moment. But the key problem with the dollar on uh, is that it's developed a parabolic trend. And parabolic trends tend to collapse very, very rapidly. So on a weekly chart with US dollar, uh, DXY, we're looking for it to move to about 89 and then the potential for a fairly substantial retracement. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting, man, because it, it, it looks like it wants to whack that the 2010 swing high. And on a continuous contract, it's only like about 50 ticks off it. And it's, it's just, it's, it's wild. There's, there's no doubt. It's like, okay, are you going to blow right through that thing? Or, or in fact, are you just going to give it up here and now, you know? That's right. We'd see a retreat from 89 back to about 85. The key factor there is that it's likely to be a very rapid retreat. So at this point in time, we're looking at it and we're, we're ready to go short. Now, you train a lot of different traders uh, across the world. Talk to me about the, sure. the, the difference in these different countries and, you know, the... It just, I, I love, it's just so intriguing. I mean, I have a lot of different guests on. I haven't had anyone on that with the type of experience, meaning that you've been in a lot of different countries. And there are smaller and larger markets, and, and what do they like to trade? Well, everyone likes to trade things that are moving. That's the important sure. thing. We're all trading volatility these days. But the key change that's taken place across markets worldwide is the lack of persistence of trends the fact that trends tend to collapse very, very rapidly. So in the past where we've looked at signals that were giving us three or four days warning, what we're finding is that these signals are moving much, much more rapidly. So the persistence of trends is less on a worldwide basis. And we think that's probably due to some structural changes in the markets around ETFs and HFT, high-frequency trading. Wow. Uh, the differences in the way different countries approach markets, well, certainly are to, to some extent. They're not major. Most of them are related to, uh, as I said, the mechanics of trade execution. So, for instance, uh, in Singapore, you still have that wonderful ability to settle three days after the trade, which means you can do what's called contra trading. Simply, you put an order with your broker, you don't actually put any money up front, and you let the broker close you out after three days, which actually means day four. It's a wonderful way of trading without any cash. Hold it. You, we, you had talked to us about this. Tell me, walk me through this again. So. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> we might all be moving to Singapore. Hey, talk, seriously, talk to me about this. How does this work again? Well, you simply, it's a contra trade. That's okay. called a contra trade. So uh, it's because of a lag in settlement. It have, they have settlement T plus three. Yes. Uh, so that simply means that you put your trade on, let's say on a Monday, um, but you don't actually have to pay for the trade until close of trading on Wednesday. If you fail to pay by a close of trade on Wednesday, then you'll be automatically closed out by your broker on Thursday. Sure. So essentially you've got three days of trading which you can do without putting any money up front. Wow. You know, I mean, in the, in the U.S., you know, years ago, of course, th there was always a three-day deal, but it was just the opposite. Yeah. You had to put your money up, and you, even if you got out of that trade, you couldn't use your money for three days. And thank God it's not like that anymore, but that, that's really intriguing, man. <laughs> Wow. That's right. And then in other markets, we have complete automatic uh, electronic settlement. So if I'm trading in China, for instance, then uh, it's money removed at the end of the day once the trade is completed. Uh, same, within, uh, same within Australia, for instance. Uh, so essentially it becomes a T plus zero 
uh, trading environment, although technically it's a bit longer. Um, key differences in terms of automatic uh, placement of orders, the way in which stops can be placed and activated. So there are structural or mechanical changes across markets, but people seek to uh, exploit the differences as much as possible. So, for instance, if you're trading on a China market, there's no intraday stops. Now, that changes the way you manage the stops. It changes the way you manage your risk. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, no intraday stops, man. That's a trip. Holy cow. So, what? They, now, when you say China, so the, in, in Sh they're trading gold to the Shanghai ex Exchange now, right? That's correct. So, w would, do they have stops in that gold market? Uh, yeah, in the futures market, they have stops. Okay. Yes, that's true. Okay. But on Monday, we're going to be the situation where uh, residents in Hong Kong can trade the Shanghai market and Shanghai can trade Hong Kong. So these are one of the major structural changes, the structural factors between the markets that people have to take account of. We've followed and traded uh, China markets for uh, nearly a decade. Yeah. And yes, we've had to adjust some trading methods to take in a different style of risk management. Yeah, sure, because the premiums... Uh, and, well, they always said that what, the premiums were in the Shanghai versus the China market, right? And now that basically oh, yeah. goes, gets into flat now, right? That's correct. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. And I know that. I mean, the, what, what does happen even in the U.S., um, the, uh, a couple of these prop shops um, that particularly trade in the, the commodities, the iron ores of the world and all that, uh, they're watching China really closely on a continual basis and just try to basically game it, you know, at our open, do you know what I mean? Which, that was a much better deal about seven to, well, actually about nine years ago, you know, because of the fact oh, yeah. that you had all those differentials happening in Singapore, China versus the U.S., you know, when Rio Tinto would open up or BHP, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, there's a lot of prop shops that that's all the trade because you can get some great information out of China. So I'm sure that uh, the way that you move around, you must see that quite a bit. That's right, but those arbitrage opportunities have been reduced considerably. Yeah. Uh, as the world's become more connected, then the gaps are much smaller and are filled much more rapidly. Yeah, sad but true. Now, where are you from? I'm from Australia. Australia, that's a beautiful thing. I like that, man. So, so talk to me about the Australian market. The Australian market, your, your real estate market's been on fire, right? That's right. Although you uh, talk to Australians, they say it's not a housing bubble. Uh, China has a housing bubble, but Australia doesn't have a housing bubble. I'm not for sure I agree with that. I love it. But there are some interesting trading opportunities to sit there, particularly in the real estate trust. Uh, and again, they're a situation where we're prepared to go short. We're looking to go short on some of those. Nice. Listen, folks, you can go to eSignal.com. When you hit eSignal.com, what you are going to hit is you'll hit the education tab. You're going to see back and black. This is a, a free webinar that eSignal is doing. It's on the November 15th from 9 o'clock to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Daryl's going to be speaking at 9.30 to 10.15. Uh, Daryl's website, folks, is A-N-T-S-S-Y-S dot -S com. Check it out, okay? Uh, Daryl, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, look forward uh, to the workshop this coming Saturday and look forward to having you on again. Thank you very much. And listen, man, thanks so much for getting up so early. We really appreciate it. You have a great day and a safe day, okay? Well, it's a long day than it used to be. Uh, definitely. You've got a long day. There's no doubt, brother. Okay, have a great one. Thanks again. You, you, you stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow finished up 40. Now like I'm 5. S&P's up a buck. We're going to break back. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report. And make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. 
For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Each and every time that the dollar ticks higher, S&P wants higher price. Each and every time that the dollar's ticking lower, guess what? S&P wants lower price. Dollar, the metals, and the S&P are going tick for tick. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors join andy hecht as he shows you how to make money in commodities the commodities hour next on tfnn tom o'brien Welcome back, folks. Don't forget, folks, at TFNN, we do 10 hours of live programming every trading day. Our man, Mr. John Logan, kicks us off at 8 o'clock in the morning. All that programming, get right on your cell phone at tfnn.mobi. Now, our man, John Logan, this morning, he kicked off uh, a scanner. Okay, this scanner is a phenomenal scanner, folks. It's the TAS Market Profile Scanner. Uh, I was on with John this morning. Uh, well, first off, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You can see it right in the carousel. You can test drive this right here, right now, absolutely free. 
Uh, there's three videos that go with it. It's a phenomenal piece of software. Uh, we were walking through it this morning live when we were on. Uh, John Logan, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Are you you are awesome, man. I you know <laughs> I it's it's you know I, I can tell you, folks. Okay, it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, technology is awesome. Uh, it's awesome, folks. Uh, though when you have really hard working folks, we just got off with Daryl Guppy. He was live from Singapore. John is live from uh, the Philippines. In both cases, of course. Okay, it's uh, four thirty in uh, in the morning. Um, so, John, hey, check this out, man. <laughs> so, all day long, of course, I got the scanner up. And, folks, I, I, there's a lot of different parts of the scanner. And uh, come over to our website, check it out on the, on the front page. You can go through the videos, and he'll explain what's going on. But there's one part that is, to me, okay, being uh, intraday and looking for a top out here, uh, uh, is, the, is the market breath. And, you know, you're going to kill me, John, I know. But I, you know what? I, I had to pull the trigger, and I pulled the trigger again because the risk, risk that we want. Well, so check this out, folks. You know wh wh what happens on these time frames? He has he has a 60 minute, a 240, a daily, and a weekly. And, and what you're looking for, and this just isn't you know, this is a, a phenomenal type of system. But the bottom line is that I kept watching the 60. I says, oh, it's going to cross, man. And you know, so we'll see where this checks out. But I I, I pulled the trigger at about 2:30. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't blame you. This thing's just it's, it's been so out of control on the upside that uh, you know, if, if looking for reasons to get shorter, that kind of creeped into my mind too. You know. Hey, you know. Hey, listen. We'll see where it goes tomorrow morning. I figure the you know, risk, risk, and the reward's not that bad as long as they don't open the market up. You know, fifty S and P points. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. The, the, the problem is with trading, you know, the lower time frame you trade on, the less probably the validity, at, you know, as you know, like the less valid the signals are. So, uh, you know, th these are, you know, these are short term crossovers you're talking about. But, but, you know, for the guys out there listening to the show, um, you know, we, we have really, really on an intermediate to long term basis had some incredible signals since we've been, you know, actually jointly talking about this yes. from back in mid July. And that's and, what you've been uh, looking you know, for, folks. You're looking for the two minute to uh, 240 and the daily cross and, of course, the weekly, which is awesome. I, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, but the 60 minute is obviously the first piece of the puzzle. And yes. what you're doing is. We almost got him. Not a bad idea. You know, because yeah, because that you know that thing could reverse, and uh, I mean, this you know, the, going back to what you know, we just talked about, like the intermediate, this you know, the so-called intermediate, the daily and the weekly are still very, very breadth positive, strong. Um, yeah. So you know, the and, and you know, the sixty-minute turn first there's no question about that. Then the two forty, two forty is getting close to turning, and um, you know, that's the first uh, telltale sign. I tell that you, the market may be you know kind of changing direction, but yeah. And well, yeah, and you know, intraday, what was what was really intriguing, John, is that you know the small caps basically still couldn't handle uh, the higher price. That definitely did reverse intraday. Um, you right. know, and we'll see where this shakes out. But I can tell you that the the system uh, that you put together yourself, uh, it, it's phenomenal because it's so clean. You know, and right, yeah. you know, so the when you come over to TFNN, folks, uh, what you're going to see is right in the carousel. You're going to see the TAS market scanner. You can hit the, the test drive it. A month absolutely free. John put three great videos together, uh, and every morning John's on from eight o'clock to nine o'clock in the morning. You know, listen to him, okay? And what you're going to see, you're going to get a lot of clean information that's free. Number one, um, yes. and you know, if you like, it doesn't matter whether you, you want to take a look at the the S and P's, you want to take a look at the Nasdaq, you want to take a look at any market, folks, okay? Uh, they're all out there. You want to look at the currencies. You want to look at the ETF structures. He has all this built right in to the system. And guess what? There's no charges for all the quotes, which in itself yeah, I mean, is unbelievable. Yeah, I mean that's something. You know, we were this is the we got we built this for institutional traders, and we did it because. You know, we want to save them time. They wanted to kind of get to the the Betty Crocker version of whatever they needed to do as quickly as possible. And this basically allows them to kind of quickly, like you said, scan through as, you know, quite you know, over 2,500 instruments at this stage, um, and also get that market breadth piece of information, which is, you know, I mean, I you know, we talked about not even releasing that. I mean, because 
you know, we, we use that ourselves. We're yes. like, you know, is this, is this kind of the golden goose here? And, you know, what do we end up doing with it? But we did release it for TFNN. We don't really have it on any other, you know, venue. Um, and by the way, you know, we don't talk about this much, but the, the free video that you put on your home page every day, I use the scanner most of the time to kind of guide me into that video. Yes. And uh, that video is just a great little snippet on, the, you know, getting, I mean, kind of distilling a lot of things down and just kept trying to find some of the ripest opportunities out there. I mean, that's, I have fun doing that thing. I enjoy it. And, that's, doing it and, and I'm glad you just brought it up because you can see that video each and every day, each and every trading day, folks. And you can see, uh, when we go on 24 hours a day, which which is so cool, you know, it's it, it is amazing, man, that what has happened in this world, right? I mean, it's I just, know. you know, the the guy I was just talking to, uh, he's doing a um, a, vid, a, a webinar with E Signal this coming uh, Saturday, right? And he was in yep. Singapore, no Shanghai. I was just talking about Shanghai, Shanghai. But he's from Australia. You know what I mean? It's like you yeah. know, you guys move around like uh, we move around in cities around here, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of the hotels around here, I don't mind moving around. They, you mean Mandarin Oriental, a couple of the other ones. Yeah. Are just some outstanding venues to stay in when you get when you go visit these cities, especially if somebody else is paying for it. <laughs> yeah, that there you go, so, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's no Bloomberg, doubt. Bloomberg, Bloomberg seems to never never uh, put anybody in anything less than the Ritz Carlton. I realize I don't know how they do that, but that uh, they uh, they travel in style, and I usually hang out with them, so it's kind of nice. Yeah, that's you know, <laughs> and, well, you know, it's so funny is that there's no doubt. I had these guys when they come in the office, folks. It's pretty amazing. You know, they everyone flies out of New York, and they only fly down here for the yeah. day, but they fly everywhere just for the day, folks, and they fly right back. You know what I mean? It's, it's yeah, yeah. You know what? That's that's really weird because in Hong Kong, when I'm there. Everybody's there on Monday morning. Every salesperson in the entire Asia region, I'm talking Mongolia, Shanghai, really? Basin, okay. Jakarta, the whole nine yards. Then they leave from there, go stay in a hotel for four days in a week, um, and then fly back to Hong Kong. They all live in Hong Kong, and Bloomberg sends them out on the company dime, planes, hotels, and everything to go to their cities of where they work. And it's, I'm like, geez, that, does Amazing. that make sense? Like, Amazing. Uh, yeah. Hey, you have a great one, safe one. Look forward to the show tomorrow. Have a great one, folks. Stay tuned for Andy coming up next. Thanks.